Hello, this is Ty Anderson for Add-in Express. In this video, I will show you the new in-place GUI designers that are available with Add-in Express 2010. By an in-place designer, I mean a designer that's embedded inside of the Add-in module. In previous versions of Add-in Express, you'd actually have to drag either a ribbon tab or a command bar onto your Add-in module and then right-click it and go to Properties and then begin to add items to it. Now, in version 2010, you don't have to do that. You don't even have to leave the add-in module. You can do it all right there, and it's nice and super convenient. That's enough explaining. I think now let's go ahead and jump in with a quick little demo. I think it's always best to see it versus hear someone talk about it. So I'm going to create an Outlook add-in using the Add-in Express ADX Com add-in template. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, we'll call this in place designer I'm gonna go ahead and choose Visual Basic that's my language of choice and I'll just leave the interop assembly set to version neutral for now and in the wizard I want to select Microsoft Outlook next in terms of the strong name key I'm gonna leave it, leave the default for generate new and now Visual Studio 2010 should be nice enough to go ahead and create my project for me there we go and now I know it's done because I have my add-in module and I have add-in module displayed in the code window but what I, I am less interested at this point in time in the add-in module code window as I am in the uh, add-in module design window so I'm gonna go ahead and right click add-in module in the solution explorer and I will say view designer Well, the first thing you should notice, and I'm going to go ahead and collapse some of these windows so it's a little more obvious, but there is a new toolbar at the at the top of the, of the add-in module, and so no no longer do, is it necessary to to right click on the add-in module and select what you want. You can actually click here too, although right clicking is still available. And the you know you have all the the items that you would expect, like the ADX command bar, which I want to go ahead and add because when I do so you'll see that at the bottom of the add-in module is a little window that has the GUI designer for the command bar and uh, at the same time you know if you, if you want more space you can hide it just by clicking the little chevron buttons for up and down or I can expand it back up uh, this is a great just kind of in context I can design this inside of my add-in module and I don't have to open up uh, a dialog box like w was in previous versions, a little modal dialog box that uh, may or may not have been in the way for you. And that, that's not to say that that dialog box is, has gone away. It certainly has not. You can still right click, say on this command bar control, and I can click edit controls, and there's my controls collection dialog box. Uh, and it works just the way as it used to in previous versions with all my, all my properties on the right hand side and the different objects within the command bar that I might have like the the button and whatever else I might want to add list boxes drop down boxes what have you but th but what I like is this new GUI designer I think it's pretty slick and certainly makes it easy for me I don't have to open up another window or anything and I, I like working that way so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'll, I'll build out a little command bar and we're gonna add another object here which will be the ADX ribbon tab and as you get familiar with this, it will take a little bit of getting used to to, to to know where the different components are on the toolbar, but it doesn't take all that long. So I will add a ribbon tab as well, and you notice the designer pops up, and I see a nice ribbon that I can design just right here inside of the add-in module. I'll start by designing this ribbon tab, and as you see in the designer, I have a, a tree view over on the left-hand side, and I'll select the ribbon tab 1 and I have this toolbar at the top with only really one control that is available it's lit up the icon is not grayed out and so I will click to add a ribbon group uh, that will host all the other controls as soon as I click the ribbon group 2 node inside of this this uh, ribbon then all the other controls that are available that can be hosted by the ribbon group are now available and what I'll do is I'll add a button and oh, let's add just a, a combo box and then I can I can I can select in here and, and then move over to the properties window and do what I want with it so this ribbon tab first I just want to say 
in place GUI designer demo. It'll be nice and long. And in fact, I want to have a hyphen there. Wonderful. Now for the button, I just want to have it say, save me. And what I'm going to do now is I want to invoke a default button action that's available inside of Outlook and really inside of any Office application that's called file save. So by putting this value in here, I'm going to, this button will actually work like a save button inside of Office. And also, too, I want it to use the icon for the file save button, so I do the same thing, add the same value there. Now I'll click the combo box that I added and I'll change its I'll just change it to select something and let's see here where is my collection there we go items and I'll just add a few items I'm not worried about their names we'll just leave the controls as the exact same name the default name Click close, and you'll notice too. Once I've added items like this, they're automatically available in the designer. So you can you get a, a nice design time uh, experience of actually what how how it would work in real time. So it's mimicking the real time experience or the the runtime experience. Now, and, and too, a quick note on this too: you don't have to. You know, obviously, this collection is available at runtime, and in your code, you can you can add items dynamically. And now I'll just change this groups, change the groups caption to uh, demo group. And then one other thing I want to do is with the tab, what we're going to want to do is make sure which ribbons, we'll, I want to specify what ribbons will display it. And in this case, we have Outlook Mail Read and Outlook Mail Compose. And that's all fine and dandy for this one we also have the capability to also say I want this this tab to display on the Outlook Explorer Outlook is a bit different from the other office applications where you have the idea of the Explorer where you're use the Explorer to view folders and, and items within the folder and you can you can traverse basically your data hierarchy inside of Outlook and then you have inspectors which when you double click or open up any individual item whether it be an email a task an appointment the inspector is what's used to display individual items. So I can say here, I want to have this tab show up on Outlook Explorer windows and not any, any inspector windows, which is what the mail read and compose, the Outlook appointment, contact, journal, task, etc. All of those are inspector windows. Um, I'm going to show it on, say, an Outlook ap appointment inspector as well. So. In this demo, it's going to show up in the Outlook Explorer. I need to make sure I have that clicked or enabled, and then the Appointment Inspector. All right, now let me go ahead and move over, and we'll we'll design the command bar component of this demo. The command bar designer works in a, in a fashion very similar to the ribbon tab, but obviously this is the the legacy command bar buttons and objects available inside of Office in Outlook in, or any kind of Office 2010 add-in, which is what I'm demoing against here, is not going to show the command bar in the correct place. It will actually put it in a ribbon called uh, add-ins and make it available there. But if you're supporting, say, Outlook 2007, which does not have the ribbon on the Outlook Explorer window, or any of the pre Office 2007 version, say Office 2003, then the command bar is really where you would uh, put buttons like I did on the tab. So that's you'd use command bars to, to build out your, your menu. So here it works it, it's the same fashion where I can add a button. I, I've selected the command bar, I can add a button, uh, and uh, which I guess I've added two now. I didn't, I didn't notice that first one. And I can add more control, say the combo box and everything else here too. So, and, and it works very much the same way. You know, select the button. I can change, you know, change the caption as I want. I actually, just want two or one button in the combo box. I'll delete the second button. 
yes I do want to delete it and now I can select the combo box and do just like I did with the ribbons combo box and go to the items collection and I can add a few so out here I need to actually type in my items so item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, item 5 kinda like prime numbers so I'll do 5 and you also see here as well that they're all available and it's mimicking the runtime experience one other thing I'll click this command bar I'll say this is a demo command bar and I want to come down into the supported apps property and I want to change it to where really I only want it available inside of say Outlook alright still have InfoPath available don't want InfoPath enabled alright so there we go just Outlook and I'll set temporary to true which means each time Outlook runs it will rebuild this command bar and then when Outlook closes it will destroy it so it doesn't persist and that, that way if my add-in failed to load then I don't have this orphaned command bar uh, displaying inside of Outlook and while I'm thinking about it too there's one more thing we need to do which is this use use for ribbon property I want to set it to true so that it will display in a special tab called add-ins uh, the add-ins tab will display any command bars you know, which are really considered legacy inside of Outlook 2010 it will display any command bar objects inside this add-ins tab and it should display them within a group called dem demo command bar so I'll set this to true so that we can see it when we run when we run the add-in and before I run the add-in I need to go ahead let's build the project or build the solution that was fast now I, since I have not registered this solution first before you can run it and have it execute against Outlook or whichever office application is your targeted application we need to go ahead and register the ADX project and this lets Office know that there is an add-in registered against it and it looks in the registry and will load it if it finds it so now that it's registered I'll go ahead and start debug and we can take a look at the fruits of our labor here so hopefully the first thing you notice is that we have this in place GUI designer tab available in the Outlook Explorer now the next part is tricky we have our demo group that we created for the ribbon, ribbon tab but we only see the select something combo box with its five items that were were specified in my properties or in the items collection so what's missing here is our file save button and it's tricky because the file save button is actually something that would only display inside of an Outlook inspector item so it's not going to show up because really uh, well it's not going to show up inside of the Explorer because one we're not going to know what to save there's really nothing selected and that's where coming over say to the calendar where I can click on a, a time and now we'll have the in place GUI designer demo tab available on this appointment inspector we'll see the save me button uh, because f file save is something that's uh, contextually relevant inside of the inspector so I will now say uh, demo appointment and before I hit the save me button I'll just show you here's here's our five items they're there as expected and I'll click save me and you should have seen in the background here yeah it's two hours overdue now my demo appointment I will dismiss it and there we go demo appointment so just by configuring that button with the file save ID we've utilized the default button inside of Outlook that does the same thing now let's look at one last little item which is this add-ins tab which has both the click me button and our generic combo box with five items as we, just as we specified in a previous version of Outlook say Outlook 2007 this would actually be this custom toolbars here would actually be a toolbar in the Outlook Explorer window so I'm gonna close this because I want to show you one last thing just in in regards to the tab and why that file save button does not show up uh, if you look at it we'll click the save me button and then go down to the ribbons
property, you'll notice here as we look around, actually I don't have the button, yeah, there we go. So if we look at the Save Me button, you know, the problem is, is, is here, not really where we have the ribbons defined. And, and we're looking at our ribbons, we'll see that we have both the Outlook Appointment and the Outlook Explorer specified for it to display. But the problem is that this button doesn't display in, or it's not available to the Outlook Explorer window. So Office or Outlook automatically hides it. If I want it to display, I can take this out and we'll run it now and I'll just show you that the button will display but in this case we'll lose the ability to invoke the default button action for file save and there we have the save me button but it doesn't do anything so in that case you'd be on your own to implement your own your own file save functionality and that could be the subject for another video but for now we're done as you can see, Add-in Express 2010 has, has some great designers for both the command bars and ribbons that allow you to easily, quickly, simply build out your, your ribbons and your command bars without ever leaving the add-in add -in module and having to open up another dialog box and work within that. At the same time, then, you see as well how they would act during runtime, and so you, you get a good, nice feel for how, how you built it out and whether or not you're happy with it. So that's it for this video. I think I've covered the subject enough, and we'll see you in, in the next one.